let me ask you the super chat uh, first since that came in. Um, but we maybe could talk. Did you see the boogie documentary? No, I didn't even know there was a boogie documentary. Okay, well, that's probably better for your life, but I do know. Um, J Dank's Respector says, Dingo, why does Rand hate yours and Borjack's Gaza take? And then he says, why does Rand suck off Muslims? I really don't know how anybody could have had a problem with mine and Borjack's like Israel Palestine takes the other day that we did on the show. I have no idea. All we fucking said was like, look, if you want to protest for Palestine, go ahead. I'm not I'm not going to fucking complain about it or try to stop you. I'm not going to join you. I'm not holding up a free Palestine flag. I'm not doing it. But like, if you want to do it, do it. But like any any attention you garner from doing that, you know, if you're not using that attention to bring the message back to being like pro white and your own people, you're wasting your time. And how the fuck is that not common sense? Like if you're a white nationalist and you're doing anything political other than fucking trying to better your own people's lot in life, what are you fucking doing? You're just out here. If you're just protesting for Palestinians and nothing else, what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? You know, I've seen this talking point um, <clears throat> uh, going around on Twitter that um, uh, maybe like uh, pro-white quote-unquote voices or whatever um, are going too far with the uh, pro-Palestinian stuff and then just not talking about, you know, what's going on with the white people. So is that kind of like your take on it? Well, like there's that. And then there's also like I've seen I've seen some of these people who claim to be, you know, pro-white. They'll be protesting with brown people who um, I saw a sign, for instance, OK, today on Twitter. And it said, you either stand on the white side or the right side of history. Now, where was this at? This was in fucking like this was a Palestinian type protest, pro-Palestine protest. What are they doing? They're calling Israel white people. OK, and they're saying like, hey, guys, look, they're white. White people are always wrong. Get on the right side of history, not the white side of history. So what are we doing then? So now we're protesting for brown people, not white people. And we're we're fucking amplifying voices that are saying the default should be to not be on the white side of history. Because whiteness is wrong? Like, that, that, my friend, that is beyond the fucking pale. That's not even what Jack and I were really talking about. We were saying that that could, that could like, come about from all this because everybody keeps calling Israel an apartheid state, right? And where does apartheid, where, do, where did that even come from? It came from South Africa. Yeah. So, like, you're kind of, whenever they do that, they're subtly keeping white racism, quote, unquote, se white segregation from non-whites who would kill them, right? They're keeping that as the bad guy, the default bad guy, because as long as apartheid is bad in people's minds, then, I mean, white people having their own country is bad because apartheid, there's nothing wrong with apartheid. It's just segregation. Well, look what's happened since it fucking fell. They're all dying. And so are we. You know what I mean? So anyways, but uh, my, well, I have to say, Jack and I were spot on with like the dangers of comparing it to apartheid because that sign I just told you about, I'm seeing that kind of shit all over the place. Like all these pro-Palestine people just keep trying to remind everybody that the, it, the Jews in Israel are somehow white as if that's supposed to change people's minds because, you know, whitey sucks. So if you're perpetuating that message, what the fuck are you doing? Now, um, I, so what, have you got any critique? I didn't know Rand said I, I don't know what he said or anybody else. Like, I, I don't I know, know what he said either, dude, to be honest yeah, with you. I like, tell you. Like, I, to be honest. I, I know that, uh, I, Sven was streaming the other day, and I asked. Um, I went into the chat to ask Sven if if uh, TRS knew the dissident soaps people, like the, the dissident soaps on Twitter. <clears throat> and as soon as I fucking commented, I hear Randbot. Oh, I don't know. Like, if I can, stupid kind of heard you fucking show, mate. You fucking sound like a fucking retard. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to protest for the Palestinians, can't. I'm like, okay. And I fucking just, I literally switched it off right then and there. I'm like, okay, Randbot's doing his thing where he's being retarded again. I can't, ha I, I'm, I just can't handle re like his retard moments anymore. I'm done with them. I'm Wait, just done with Rand them. said somebody else was look, sounding like a retard. That sounds a little uh, off base. But uh, yeah, well, obviously we don't get along. Uh, but even when we did get along, I don't know what you're talking about. It's like, okay. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. I guess, okay, that question makes sense then. I didn't know 
that there was a, a yeah a i don't i just there. i don't know what his critique is right i think like i i think that like i don't know what i think man I, these people there are bad actors out there that try to get white nationalists to not mention the jew right that is a real thing i've run into it myself a thousand times like these people are sneaky and they always reveal themselves whenever they try to get you to not talk about jews but like if i'm saying look guys you want to go fucking protest for Palestine? Do it. Just make sure to bring it back to white people at the end. Those are not the same thing. I'm not saying don't talk about Jews. I mean, not at all. I, I've lost more money than most of these Wait, faggots will ever would you make. Ever say because that? I like, about Jews. Would anybody no. ever expect you to say that? Like, I don't think I, that's, <laughs> no. that's not something I that's would expect to come out of Dingo's mouth. Don't talk about the Jews. That that seems like the, <laughs> with all due respect, that'd be down towards the bottom of, the, of your list. I think of phrases. That, that you would say right yeah I've, I've never said anything like that i've never said like oh you need to ease up on the jew talk never like i'm all about truth all the time if you should tell the truth as much as you can in a polite respectful like admirable way you know don't be a spurg about it be like hi my name is jeff and hitler did nothing wrong faggot cast you know like don't, don't do it. that but obviously no i wasn't gonna say it. i mean like that's not what i'm talking about but like i'm, I'm never gonna just be asked my opinion on something and then lie because it's popular in public like in my real life i've never done that i don't want anybody else to do it so uh, i think what's happening though is like those people you know randbot and his crew and a lot of us to be honest we're always like so on the lookout for the for the infiltrator who's trying to get everybody to stop talking about jews because they secretly work for israel right we're always so, so on the lookout for that sometimes if you're not smart you know like randbot's not smart you might think people like me who are much smarter than him like they'll, they'll conflate me and my message with that message. But Randbot, he can't differentiate, right? Because he's just kind of dumb. And that's fine. That's fine. I still love him. But like, don't try to flex on me like you're some kind of fucking genius, Randbot. And I had some bad take because I'm telling you to be pro white. Get the fuck out of my face with that shit. I had no idea. I would have brought this up. I, <laughs> I would have brought it up. I don't know. But, uh, Thankfully, the super chatters uh, are on top of the ball there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I want to hear that clip now because that just seems outrageous. They would pull you up like that and just like dingo. I, I really fuck. couldn't even tell you there wasn't a clip. <laughs> like, like I was in that chat for, I was watching that stream for probably a total of thirty uh, seconds. Uh, I, it took me ten seconds to type the question, and then I heard about thirteen seconds of Randbot, and I was like, ah, and then the other seven seconds of me <laughs> scrambling trying to hit the home button because I was tired of it. Damn. Yeah, I got to hear this. Somebody link this. Uh, Jay Danks, you got this. Somebody in chat's got this link. I don't know. Let's see if we can find it. But uh, Oh, my God, dude. These fucking retards in your chat. Stinky poo poo man. Dingo's a good man who loves his people, but he's also an idiot. <laughs> you know, I've, do you have any, I've, do you have any I mean, fucking partially... idea how much smarter how much smarter I am than you, stinky poo poo person? Do you have any idea? Like, well, it's partially a compliment. sad. He said you're a good man. I don't who give loves a shit. People. I don't care. His mom used to get deep dicked in the butt by truckers at a fucking parking lot. Okay, that's how he was to see. Like the, the, here's the fact, big guy. Here's the fact. Not not you. Stinky poo poo person. Not me. Go ahead. Yeah, not you. I'm I'm not I'm not about to insult you. I'm talking about him. No, no. Um, he, the fact is, big fella, I've taken at least half a dozen internet IQ tests, and they're real. They are real. It even says so in the top right corner. Okay, <laughs> and they all say that I'm genius or approaching genius level. Get the fuck out. Do you think Randbot could get a score like that? No. <laughs> All right. This is what was linked to me. I don't know if this is what he's talking about. Um, again, I did no research on this and had no idea about this whatsoever, which makes it a lot better, actually. Uh, yeah. So here, here goes what he sent. What he sent me. Uh, I guess this is on Rand's show. The only reason I know is because he's. I got a clip last week of them. <laughs> talking some shit we played it and then gators like ralph's talking to ralph's obsessed like okay well you talk about but me I'm every day like, for food. fucking three years or whatever it's been and i pulled up a clip anyway whatever uh all right do you have it pulled up did you link it to me or something oh yeah you did. i sent it okay. to you yeah i don't know what it is hopefully there's no okay, I'm, I'm pulling it up now. in there there may be though but um there shouldn't be I hope not. All right, you okay, ready? I'm ready. You ready? Wait, how long is this? I don't fucking know. Holy shit! Did this faggot talk about me on his show? Well, it seems like it. 
I don't know. Okay, I, I haven't it. seen this. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't heard it. All okay, right. well, I guess we're going to watch it for the first time together. We're going to see it together. It could be good. It could be bad. I don't know. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, hit it right now. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> like, once Bull Jack, like, started going into the whole, like, um, Israel coordinated the, the, the attack on itself, it's all a gay op, I'm like, okay. I'm, I'm never no, saying that they got caught flat figure. footed because they're fucking retarded. They they try to LARP that they're this like international like they're super mm. small. We we like we know everything that's the happening. And, like, half the time gator. they don't know what's happening okay. in their fucking own backyard. Yeah, but it's just sad. Oh. Like it's, it, like I understand. Like it, uh, obviously, Buajack is like very Don't focused on what's going on in on his, his country. Okay, and yeah. so he picked up he picked up a bit of fud. And so he was, run he was running with a bit of fud about oh oh it's all a, it's all a gay up. No, I Israel is actually getting Israel has suffered irreparable damage um, from from the Alaska flood. And one, oh, I was about sixteen minutes in. I go, okay, look, I I can't hear you falling for fud and prognosticating about irreparable. fud any further. So I had to stop listening. Well, this is and this is what um, this had is part to turn of the it off. reason for the response after Alex He couldn't understand blood, it. <laughs> was that the Jews wanted to make people think that oh, actually they're so smart, they're so smart that they planned this entire thing like years in advance. We never said shit like that. So that like they that, could ever. claim to be victims <laughs> and look, look, you know, it actually Hamas had no idea that they were being fooled into doing this, and it, it's like it goes into like the self fulfilling prophecy. Where they try to make themselves seem smarter than they really are. It was like, like, we don't never get me said wrong. Nothing like this. They do plan a lot of gay shit and gay ops, but it's all happening in the West. All right, so there's a part two, but but thoughts on that, and then I'll send you the other link. I haven't seen either one of these. Um, Gator I don't know what he's talking the about. Law. Gator laying down the law to you right there. He's letting you know how. It I, don't, I don't know what the fuck Randbot is even talking about. We never said anything about gay ops. We never. I mean, I don't know, and I, I don't even have a fucking like theory on a gay op with all this jack never said a word about oh israel did this to themselves that, we never said nothing like that what the fuck are they even talking about yeah i don't know again i didn't i, I didn't see you guys either was this the day that i tweeted it out or whatever when you talked yeah. about it okay so i know when it happened i did listen to the, like five minutes but i didn't you know i tweeted it out oh well yeah, at least you beat ranbot's time <laughs> yeah yeah but i wouldn't come on here and say like i just said why well, i didn't see it right like i i hate when somebody starts talking about something and they clearly don't know anything like there's no shame in not knowing right like, it's like okay i didn't see it i can say what they said right or i don't really know what happened here but the false interpretation is something that i have a problem with myself all right now uh let's see i think this is the second one and i'll send it to it's you. great to see <laughs> it's just that just blows my mind. Like, we never said shit about any no. gay ops. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Okay. So, and well, we talked about that on the show. Like, I didn't say that I believed it, but I certainly understand why somebody might think, oh, this could be, you know, Bibby just let this one come through on purpose so he could justify killing a bunch of Palestinians and, you know, maintaining power and all that stuff. But, um, you know, I never said I believe that. I just don't think it's crazy for somebody to have that doubt. Um, you know, and the fact that they had fucking cameras all around Gaza and it's this highly secured place and they just managed to break through and kill over a thousand Israelis. I mean, that's kind of shocking, but, you know, I don't think it's out of line to at least bring up that as a possibility. Um, but you're saying you didn't even talk about it. No, we didn't even talk about <laughs> anything like that. Like, I, I don't even know where he's getting that from. I mean, fuck me, man. What a what a dumbass. All right, you ready? I don't know what this one is, but it looks like yeah, it's I'm the same clip. All right, uh, go ahead and hit it right now. It's great to see Dingo back, but, but. and this is where the controversy is going to come in. Mm. I made it about 16 minutes in, and then I had to turn it off. No. It's great to hear Dingo back. It's great to hear Boa Jack again. But unfortunately, Boa Jack, now I understand he's, like, this is a guy who's, like, living... In real life, like he's he's trying to do in the political. Accident and apartheid yeah, he's, he's trying to do like in real life in shit South in Africa, fucking South Africa. Australia, yeah, he has unfortunately taken the retard pill on he's on the, the uh, on Israel pill. War God. thing, wow. and he's doing the whole like Israel no plan. with him. And I made it about sixteen minutes in, and I go, okay, look, this is too fucking retarded, and I just turned it off. He never said that. It was great that. to hear that Dingo's back and he's doing well. Fuck you, It was great faggot. to hear that uh, Boar Jack is is doing well in South Africa. But I made it about four minutes into to, to um, 
to hearing like what the coldest takes I've ever That's heard from Blue Jack. Say. Wait, it went from because 16 he's, to 4? He completely the wrong end of the stick, and I'm like, nah, okay. It's great. Why so? Yeah, okay. Well, here, here's the truth, Rambot. I've never, ever made it anywhere close to 16 minutes listening to one of your fucking shit shows ever, okay? Like, you, you always complain about the cube talking over you. That's the best part of the show because you're not fucking talking, faggot. This shit really is just unwatchable. I'm sorry. Like, I, you know, he had some good moments on the kill stream here and there, but uh, <laughs> I can't watch it. Like, I don't know. It's... Well, you're talking about a guy with a drastically, drastically poor image of his own intelligence. Like, you want to talk about overestimating your own fucking intelligence. Look no further than wherever the fuck 90210 Sydney Way uh Wallaby, Australia, wherever the fuck he lives. Like I've I've never I've never said anything like that because I don't want to be rude. There's no reason to be callously rude to a friend. But like, how dare you, you fucking dort fat cunt, Ranbot. How dare you say Jack, somebody who is actually doing starting he started a political organization under his real fucking name and his real fucking face in the most dangerous anti-white country on the fucking planet the balls it takes to do that and you're gonna say he took the retard pill comfy from behind your fucking computer desk and your three-day-old sweatpants you fucking cunt i tell you what dude i'm done with that motherfucker i am done well that was fairly dismissive of poor jack um <laughs> the retard pill yeah i don't know that was uh that was a little over the top. He probably I don't. I, I don't like that. He drinks. Though. I mean. Oh well, what? What? A few? Yeah. Well. All, yeah. Maybe it was a light day, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess he just caught it around breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna switch Wi-Fi real quick, and I'm about to right, drive. Go. So if I cut out, I'll be right back. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, live on the. <laughs> Live on the kill stream with some entertainment that I had no idea was coming up. Uh, you never know what you're going to get in the super chat sometimes. I had no idea there was like a disagreement here or anything, which makes it all the more amazing. Powerchat.live slash the Ralph Retort. Killstream.live slash tip. Whatever. Rumble rants. Entropy. All that shit. What else? Dollar sign Sunset Squad on Cash App. All that shit. We're not the goal, but it's still in sight. It's still in sight. What, like 61%? It's not bad. It's not out of the question. I'm just streaming. Anyway, whatever. Uh, Dingo came in. I'd, I I knew it might be late if we got him, uh, and uh, we did get him. So let's see. I'm looking through chat. Rand thinks Medicar was serious about him being the successor to him, too. Hello? Yeah, what's up? Sorry, I had to switch Wi Fi. But no, I'll tell you what, dude. Like, just me personally, like, I, um, the one thing that I'm not, that, the one thing that I'm not going to, like, make up with somebody over if we get an argument about is, like, if you, if you fucking go after Boer Jack. Like, I, I can't, I can't deal with that, dude. It's, that's a, that's a fucking friendship ender for me, and it always will be. Like, you're talking about a fucking guy. And firstly, he's one, he's my best friend. Like, that's first and foremost. Like, uh, we were friends before either of us were married, before either of us had kids. And, like, we both have two children. They're both sons. Like, we, I've, we've been there, Not even though we've not been in each other's countries. Like, we've been at all the important moments of each other's lives, right? And, like, don't get me wrong, his wife's childbirth was totally different than mine. Like, it wasn't in a hospital. Right. Like, one was in a barn and shit like that. But it's, <laughs> we, we were there, right? Like, I was, I mean, I was the second person he talked to after his first son was born, after he got off the phone with his dad, you know, and then vice versa. Like, he's, we're tight, is what I'm saying. But, like, not only that, the fucking guy is doing something that I would, and I don't say this often, Ralph, because I always make myself sound like I'm the toughest, smartest thing ever. But he's doing something that I would never, ever have the sack to do, which is, like, I can't, I can't, I'm not even doing it in America, which is not even close to as dangerous as South Africa. But he's putting his fucking face out there going, my name is insert real name right and here's a political organization we are pro-white and like he doesn't say anything like no fed posted shit obviously but he is never 
censoring himself. He's always talking about his love for his people. He always talks about the truth of black crime in South Africa, which is something that's very dangerous over there. Like he's doing what we all should be doing. And most of us don't have the balls to do. So if you're if you call yourself my friend and you go after Boer Jack, well, guess what? I'm picking Boer Jack every time. Fuck you, Rambot, you lazy fuck. Why would he do that in the first place? I don't I don't understand why he's <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know, because like we didn't even <laughs> fucking get into any of that shit, like the conspiracy theory shit. We never do that. I don't know where he got that from. He was just so disgusted. Um it was either four minutes or 16 minutes. Do we have a copy yeah. of what was said? Can we listen to it? Yeah, it's up It's up on the website. Just go to uh, the right stuff without BS and search for that's Southern Air Podcast. That's, that's where I thought he got it from. But uh, the thing is, like, I don't I don't know what time stamp to tell you to start at because it's not anywhere in that episode. This is crazy. Let me see. Uh, let me try to search it on Google. If it'll show, I think they might be delisted though. Yeah, they are. Aren't they? I didn't think about that. Okay, uh, it's just the right stuff. That is right. Yep. Okay. I'm so used to just like searching shit on Google instead of actually typing it in. But when Google delists you, then you can't do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there's no searching for it. On no, Google. you can't find it. it I forgot that you can't. And I was like, oh, yeah, I can't do that. Uh, okay. Remember Beards and Beards? We tried to use that as a flex. You can't even Google your website. <laughs> yeah, you little fucking short. Bitch. Yeah, I mean, that's actually Who's laughing now? A, kind of a badge of honor in certain ways, yeah. Although I'm not delisted, the Okay. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me pull this up. Um, maybe we'll just listen to a few minutes or something. Okay, so I have it pulled up. Well, I will in a second. I have to have the cloud fair thing too. Um, okay. You I should play that intro at least like the here. first twenty seconds of the intro. It's fucking. It, it goes hard, nigga. I mean, never. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll just play it then right now. America's core problems, in fact, are economic. That's not accidental. Again, it's by design. What you're watching is class war disguised as black race war. Every one of them. I love, Keep the population I really, I really do. I'm not being ironic. I do love black angry, people, and I do love Jews. Anti-white, non-whites. <laughs> I love Jews, okay? Some of my best friends are Jews. Like some of my DNA, best friends are straight up black. I'm not, I'm not 100% white. I'm, I'm, white. I'm, I'm of mixed I'm, descent. And so is all the guys that are on the school that claims to be Boer. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me skip a little. Why do you want? Let me skip. Of humanity. Big is really, oh, act I'm doing, everything's great with that. And I'm making a fuckload more money. Had I known I could nice. make this much money doing this shit, I would have done it a long time ago. So the best thing that ever happened to me, well, the best thing that happened to me since the original firing from a racism was getting fired this time from a racism. Um, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not like rolling in the dough yet. I hadn't been working that long, but like, bro. When I say I'm making a stupid amount of money, it is stupid. Like, they're retarded stupid for paying me this much money. And I told Jack yesterday, I said, dude, I'm going to be a good employee, actually. Like, you know, like I'm actually going to do a good job for the – that's how much they're paying me. So everything's going, you know, better with me. For a while there, I was pretty fucking stressed. I'm not going to lie to you. I uh, didn't Why talk to hardly anybody for a couple of months because I was just uh, – yeah. <laughs> everything was just looking pretty bad. But everything's looking a lot better now. <laughs> Here we are. So that's what's been going on in our personal lives. Jack can expound upon his if he wants to, but that's what's going on with me. The boys are growing up happy and healthy. They are getting so fucking big, it's really aggravating me. Like, uh, I never thought I'd say this because I hate changing shit diapers and, you know, as much as the next guy. But, like, there's there's a weird, selfish, uncomfortable feeling about, like, realizing I used to brag about not changing diapers. That didn't work out. <laughs> it's not that I want them to stay babies, <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> I know that one day they're going to move out, right? And that... Uh, is a That's sucky not a, feeling. Oh, well, yeah, I didn't I change one. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, dude. Every time they, every day that goes by and every inch they grow taller, I'm like, that you're, you know, that's another inch closer to you fucking leaving. What are you doing? You want to leave me? You don't love me? What's wrong? <laughs> <You know? laughs> no, but uh, everything's good on the family front. Everything's looking all right. That's what I've been doing. What about you, Jack? You want to say a few words to the people? Well, we've just been very busy. I'm, I'm, I'm 
<clears throat> first and foremost, I'm very glad to hear that things are looking better for you, my friend. Um, as one of the guys said here in the chat, you know, before you went silent, you were falling off of things physically a lot as well. So it's a great to hear that. <laughs> it's great to hear you're staying on the ladder now. And, um, you know, other than that, for myself, we are very busy with our movement. Like, uh, Things are getting, how do you say, coming together nicely. We're getting very organized. We are growing at a very good pace. And uh, <clears throat> my wife's also pregnant again. So, you know, life's good. How about that? Yeah. How about that, everybody? This guy just looks at his wife and she pops up pregnant. It's fucking ridiculous. And he keeps calling me the black one. <laughs> oh, that raises serious questions. But anyway, on paternity. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, Jack. Jack is a very <laughs> virile man, and we're all happy for we're all happy for you. Uh, your his kids are. It's you know what's crazy, Jack. Like I don't want to sound conceited, but you know, fuck it. Like we have. I'm not even kidding. Uh, let me skip that like, a little bit because I, I got to hear where you guys said this incendiary stuff. Have about Palestine. Yeah, it's just not my bias. This is an Dude, like you are the <clears throat> the base. Like you are the <clears throat> the base. Call this shit segregation, which is always funny. <laughs> it's perennial. Uh, it's a yeah. It's funny, but it's also necessary. Am I? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not. It's not. It's a very serious subject. That is hilarious. <laughs> Absolutely, dude. I got into hot water because I uh, I blasphemed the god of the of the of the. I'm Africa not hearing this. All right, let's call get, it let's shit. Segregate Israel, you know, and their okay, crimes against Israel. the Palestinians and like just how they're treating them, and then just like the whole concept of what they're doing there and the land they've taken in the past seventy years or whatever, like an unprecedented amount of people that I never would have thought would say anything have become like, you know, super focused on it and tweeting about it all the time and talking about it all the time. It's that's great to see. I'm very happy to see that, but there has not been in my, just in my the white view, representation. Yeah. There's not been a decrease in any anti-whiteism. There's not been an increase in racial awareness from white people. Girl, whatsoever. Jay, so I, I you, thought that they would go hand know. in hand, but it's like, what the there fuck? Isn't there is an increase in anti-whiteism, not a decrease. Not not only is there not you a have decrease a time in stamp, I don't want to... there is an increase because you see <clears throat> what I what I notice from a South African perspective, right? A lot of Americans, whenever they speak on the uh, and and people of, abroad, whenever they speak on the Israel Palestine conflict, they always and uh, very often bring in apartheid, calling uh, Israel an apartheid state, it's which much is a laughable was... idea. Because, I mean, think about it. Jews are probably the most racially diverse group of people on earth, right? You get black Jews and you get white Jews, right? They are a group of people which is very hard to distinguish um, in terms of their race. Then you see a lot of sympathy for the Palestinians from white people. And the other day, one of my friends, they asked me, so, Johannes, you know, why, why, if the Jews are in the media, why is there so much sympathy for the Palestinians in the media? Why are the Jews giving hey, a time to this idea? Yeah, let me pause it. And in my mind, it's very simple. Go ahead. Tell me whenever you got it paused. Yeah, I got it paused. Okay, I'm watching on stream, so it's delayed. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, yeah, he said, the, he said the phrase, the two words together, white Jews. But, um, hang on, I got to pause the stream. Okay, okay. Yeah, he said white Jews, but, like, he doesn't mean European white. Keep in mind, English is a second language. He just means like, you know, lighter skinned, white passing Jews, obviously. Jack is uh, not under any kind of misgivings that Jews are white people. Like, neither one of us are. Don't be a fucking spur. He gets words wrong all the time like that, but it's a second language and he's not all that great in it. Anyway, let's go ahead. Yeah, well, and there's, <clears throat> I mean, the Jews delineate between whiter Jews and like more. Arab look, or you know, like Middle Eastern looking Jews. Um, I mean, it's like, yeah, like like uh, Kushner or something. You know, like yeah, yeah. he doesn't look like some you know uh, curly haired Shylock Shlomo. He looks like a <laughs> I don't know. He kind of looks like Nick Fuentes. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Not that you mention it. All right, we'll play a little bit more. Um, because you see, it drives the victimhood status of the Jews. White people, whether you be in America, Europe, South Africa, Australia, or New Zealand, way, are not allowed to have on. their own countries. And if you do not believe that, why don't you go to one of these pro-Palestinian people, which they're like, oh, the Jews are exploiting the Palestinians, they're oppressing them and they're bombing them. Say to them, 
Freedom for the white man, freedom for the poor, white people deserve white exclusive continents and countries. Why don't you go and say that and see how that goes down? See how oh, that conversation that. ends. So what happens is, since we do not have our own country, yeah, and we are not allowed, afforded, afforded this, how do you say, status or whatever, luxury of privilege. saying, you know, privilege, there you go, of having our own con country, what it does is, the Jews allow the Muslims to attack them relentlessly, saying, oh, you know, Israel is an apartheid state and blah, 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 and they're bombing us. Now, however true that may be that they are bombing and mistreating the Palestinians, that's of no account in this, uh, when it comes to white interest, right? Because now what it does to the average white man, I see this with white people in South Africa, whenever the Jews say, you know, okay, whenever the I Jews see what happened, attacked, possibly. Yeah, I see what happened to too, Vienna. by the way, so... He was saying, when, like, it's a strategy from the Jews to just, or Zionists, um, to just <laughs> let themselves be, let themselves be attacked by Muslims and let themselves, uh, you know, be attacked on that that ground. Um, yeah, but he didn't verbally, mean, like, yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't mean that they had let the attack go through. Okay. Yeah, Let yeah. me just stop you right there, Ralph, because I want to point out something significant that just fucking happened in real time. And I hope somebody sends this clip to Ranbot. Here's what happened. Two white people were listening to another third white person and understood what he meant. But Ranbot listened to the same clip and got all fucking jelly brained because he's dumb. He's fucking stupid. And he doesn't understand what words mean. Fuck you, Rambot! You're gonna fucking say all that shit about me and Jack because you misunderstand words. Fuck you, dude. I'm done with you. I'm fucking done with you, nigga! Anyways. But do you see what happened, Ralph? See yeah, how two I regular what, people... It's funny because as soon as he said that, I, I knew what happened, right? Because Rand heard it, and then he goes, oh, he's saying that... He's saying that they let the attack, you know, the Hamas attack where they killed a thousand plus Jews or whatever. Like, he's saying he let that happen. Oh, I can't listen to this. He probably really did just turn it off right after that, right? And not yeah. even think about it. Fucking stupid. <laughs> what a dummy. <laughs> what a fucking idiot, dude. Like, all of this because you don't know how to fucking, like, interpret things people say. Like, that. that's not. See, here's the thing, Ralph. I never even would have guessed someone would have taken what Jack said the way Ranbot did. If I would have guessed that somebody would, you know, that I had stupid listeners, I would have clarified that. But it didn't even cross my mind that somebody would be so dumb to think that he meant like Israel's letting them bomb them. Like what? What? Yeah, Holy that's, shit. That's not what he said at all. Uh <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, I understand what you're saying. Like, if you would have caught it, like I wouldn't have caught it, except I knew what I was looking for, right? Because you know we just listened to Rand, exactly, and he said that, right? Like, and I was like, okay, well, he must be. It must be something in there. That's why you're like, well, I don't know if we should go watch, but I'm sitting here thinking, well, he had to have heard something, right? Even Rand, like there was something there, and so then as soon as I heard it, I was like, yeah, that's exactly. Dude, you fucking exactly sniffed that fucking shit out in like four minutes. Nice yeah. job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't know it'd be that easy, but yeah, it's clear now. And then if you look at the timestamp, that's so it's not sixteen minutes, but it's fourteen forty, right? So it's like really close too. So you know, ran just cut it off right after. So the retard pill too. The way he put it, it wasn't even. Uh, okay, chat. Well, we found it. Um, I, Colonel J linked me his stream, but like I don't know. I think we heard the the main parts. Uh, out of that, unless yeah, I don't he think has I can make it four minutes in the yeah, Rambo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we heard the key points. Uh, Cinema says Rand 100% turned it off. Yeah, I think he literally did. Like, I don't think he was lying about that. I think he actually just turned it off rather than just listening for like he might have figured it out <laughs> if he would have listened a little <laughs> yeah. bit more. <laughs> yeah, like, don't get me wrong. Whenever I hear things that are anti white and shit, yeah. I do the same thing, I just turn it off, but like. If I were listening to someone that I knew, a friend of mine, I would give him the benefit of the doubt for, I don't know, another minute or two. Yeah, just to see if maybe I misinterpreted or, you know, what have you. I mean, the guy lives in South Africa starting a pro-white political party. Or, you know, that's kind of, that's fairly impressive, I'd say, Dingo. Um, it'd be like, 
Well, I mean, it wouldn't be quite like me starting one in Mexico. I think there's no precedent for that at all. So at least there's some precedent. <laughs> some precedent, but uh, that's pretty. That takes a little courage, I, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not just like a political party either. Like it's a, it's, it's, it's not one that you can vote for. I mean, right now or anything right, like well, that. It's political nothing movement, like I was that. Gonna say. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. But like they're all, they also. Like it's not like they have a branch that is. They are equally as much as a political movement. They are equally a pro farmer movement, and they do things. They don't just talk about things. They do things to help farmers in South Africa, and um, specifically like Jack's, you know, a relatively local area. And so, like Jack, Jack donated like two hundred sheep to four different farmers who were only farming like vegetables and shit. Right? They didn't have any. They had no livestock whatsoever. So Jack took 200 of his own fucking sheep. I don't know how much money that is, but it sounds like a lot. <laughs> so, okay, I'm not a farmer. Yeah. but And so he gave 50 each to four farmers, and three of those four farmers still have those sheep, and they're doing – everything's going great. They got more than 50 sheep now. Like, they, they have significantly increased, like, the lot in those farmers' lives. They're now like uh, – oh, yeah, here's another thing. So those sheep. Okay, that's right. The condition on Jack giving these people those sheep was that I think it's like twice a year they let um, those farmers let Jack or whoever come and shear the sheep. And so they're going to like with that wool, they're making clothes like for the cold season. And so the women, uh, Jack's wife and then Jack's like right hand man's wife and then some other guy named uh, what's his name? Fuck, Krusty, his wife. They're all making clothes. For farmers and their children for winter. And guess what? Guess how much they're charging them? Not a fucking thing, big guy. Nothing. Like, that's Jack, yeah. though. Like, th- th- he could just make good shit out of nothing. You know? He doesn't talk with his fucking 18 friends on a Discord podcast and misinterpret smart people on air. That's Rambot that does that. Yeah, Rambot definitely did that. Um, and then he, I mean, you guys are being like, I won't say genteel, but like, you're not, you know, you're just talking about the issue, right? Like, it's not like, I don't know. It didn't seem incendiary either. That's why when I was listening at first, I was like, okay. And you're talking about your life and like, I don't know. And ran, I don't know. It seemed like he was waiting to be disgusted too. You know what I mean? Like, I can't, <laughs> like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, well, I don't know. They seem pretty chill. Like you weren't, uh, you know, I don't know. It didn't seem vitriolic. Oh, dude, you know what? I fucking love sober Ralph. Like you have really... You have great insights when you're not all fucked up on shit, <laughs> and you're you're absolutely right. And like, I wouldn't have said it; I, it didn't come to my head. But like in the back of my head, yeah. Now that you mention it, you're right. It's like he was just looking for a reason <laughs> yeah. to act like an asshole. Yeah, it seemed like that, and I don't know. Maybe he had some inkling that you weren't like in total agreement with what he was saying. Or I, I don't know. It just seemed like he was looking for a reason to be pissed off. And then he heard that. Like, oh, these motherfuckers. Like, I can't listen to this. Uh, and then just, you know, and then there's one thing to do that, but then to come out on your show and, or his show and call people idiots and, and stuff like that. That's, I mean, if you just turn something off okay, and don't say anything. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, I mean, like, just, like for the record, Rambot or whoever, they can say whatever the fuck they want about me. Like, I've, I've always been able to like take jokes and give jokes back. And if we're all fucking with each other, it's all fun and games, but like, don't, don't, don't fucking think yourself in the position, right. That you can look down upon a man like Bo or Jack who ran by, I'm just going to be honest, is better than you in every way, every way. There's not a way that Jack's not better than you ran by. And you're going to fucking sit there and talk about him. Like he's a fucking, like he's some cuck retard when he's not even there. There's no honor in that. And that's why I'm not friends with that motherfucker no more. Well, I can't say I haven't been there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, again, I had no idea. It's honestly funnier that it's like just Rand not even understanding what was said to. I think that's. <laughs> <laughs> that's so Rand, but. It's perfect. Yeah, it's like poetic, really, um, because it's not even it's just Rand not understanding uh, the situation. So thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.